Hello everyone. Good evening. Today is December 18th. Welcome to another episode of Ripster Daily Trade Recaps and Teachings. Sorry for a late video today. Um, so let's start. So another bullish day in the market, guys. Since the Powell and the FOMC, as we all know, that they're going to start cutting the rates next year. So market looks forward. And as I always said, when it's um, rate cuts, the market you know pushes. So um, it's getting really extended. I mean, we do need a little reset on the market overall um, because everything has ran crazy, but that's fine. As a, if, as a day trader, we can still trade the volatility. As a swing trader though, we need to make sure we are not chasing anything and we have a proper risk reward. So uh, we'll probably do another video on the swing trading market recap. Um, but let's focus on our intraday trades today. Um, how did we do? Today was just crazy. It's crazy. We focused on what is strong. We did not trade what was weak. Most of our trades were red. Uh, sorry, most of our trades were green, not red. And, um, uh, you know, a couple of trades which were a couple of ideas which didn't work or a couple of ideas which were red but later turned green. But huge win on SMCI, great lesson to learn there that I have been teaching for a long time. Huge winners on Google, um, Amazon, and Tesla. So as you see, today was it was all about the market plays. It was, the news plays were okay, didn't do much. We did trade a little bit of snap, and then a firm would turn from bearish to bullish. So we will cover all that. So it's, I'm gonna go try to go fast today because there's a lot to cover. So anyways, so anyways, who's a new follower, new YouTube subscriber? Uh, this recap is from my community or whatever I share on Twitter. So uh, as always, I'm up 45 minutes before the market open. Get ready, go through all the new sources, a uh, bunch of new sources I go through, I share with my community. I try to make a list of uh, plays which can make us money and which are, can turn out to be good setups. And I post some analyst notes, I post a bunch of news, then I create this watch list that you see right here. And we'll go through our plays and then I make these levels. So screenshot this level, see how they panned out, you know, especially, um, you know, today the levels on SMCI, you know, I mentioned 300 psych breakout. On Amazon, I mentioned 150 psych breakout. So all these kind of things, you know, I do in the pre-market so that a lot of good traders, a lot of people, they just want to match my levels with theirs and they are ready because you can't trade every 10 things, right? You just focus on what makes sense for you, focus on the strength names. I'm on voice every day. I get on the voice and market open. I'm mostly on the voice first one and a half, two hours. If needed, I get on the voice later as well. But that's where we make most of the money first one hour. We try to see what is running, what is, has a strength, what has a weakness. And we follow our repeatable EMA cloud setup that I have been teaching from years to just, you know, play those setups. We do not trade randomly. We do not trade on gut feeling. We trade repeatable setups. If, we, if the setup is not repeatable, we don't touch it. And we do not, um, you know, we follow very good risk reward. Closer to risk we add, the better. I encourage everybody to be in a trade before me and not to just trade, uh, if, you know, chase um, if you are late and of course and I, I i share what i'm trading i share my thoughts on all the trades so let's start so first one way we're going to start with this is, is guys smci and here's something i'll let you guys know that on smci so smci we were already ready in the free market as you see on the free market notes i had that 300 psych breakout trade idea that's simple, right? So we were already ready for that SMCI trade. And what happened at market open? Let's look at it, right? So when you're ready and then you do much better. So here we go, you know? Um, so as soon as the market opens, I see a big volume. Look at the R wall today. It was 190% R wall relative volume so there was a huge huge volume right at open look at this opening candle look at this opening candle look at the opening candles from two days ago smaller 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 two days opening candle was almost double the opening candle from two days ago so it was high relative volume and as soon as i saw that breakout i you know i already said in the pre-market even at the 
even even here I said 300 and that's when I started I saw the strength I started right away started right away my risk was $300 you know my ads were at 304 305s you know I was risking four dollars and what I made with the four dollars was I made on more than twenty dollars so it was one risk to four reward and the options went over 200 percent as well so here's my guidance you can see SMCI long starter then I'm giving the targets of 310 315 my next target was 318 and then after that we were just rolling the options and it's still in bullish trend we'll still watch tomorrow as you see it you know it, it broke 512 EMA clouds here at end of the day there was your signal to get out but if you see the first profits we take at 10 a.m we hold a little bit then you see the big pullback and then it held 512 EMA cloud you see it did not break so you still you hold 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 until it breaks the 512 EMA cloud if you plan to swing it then you, 3450 EMA cloud is what you risk you know even if it pulled back here at 316 you were still profitable from 305 306 ads so you could swing it so SMCI repeatable setup guys let's look at SMCI daily so um, let's see what we see on daily so if I, I if I look at daily so the setup on daily is basically you have a weekly chart right here we also have we had we had a psychological level for sure we had a psychological level so if you draw this line here you can clearly see the resistance that we had uh, let's see let's see if I can just want to show you guys here so uh, to find um, so you can see this resistance right here this area so this was finally the breakout today tested once twice many times it rejected this resistance you can see here and today it broke out and it won't be surprising if it holds the pullbacks and it pushes to the you know higher so SMCI is not done yet so we are going to put some price alerts over today's highs and then then we will watch the push all right guys let's go to the next so let's look at our next play which was uh, Google so Google guys so you know as you know I, I at the open I'm watching everything on Friday we had a lot of option flow coming in on Google it was a uh, huge at the close so Google was on kind of my watch this morning because there was so much flow so I was there was a flow was on 137 calls and funny part is and that's what it you know that's why what it met it met 137 target so look I said we will see your 137 targets and those were the calls that were coming in so you always keep eyes on flow and I remembered that I remember that then when Friday we were closing there was a huge call flow on 137 so you see um, as soon as the market opened I already had given the Google levels to everyone the 133 was the breakout pivot that I already gave everyone and so um, uh, so as soon as market open I take Google long I share with everyone I'm taking Google long and then it was all about you know letting it work higher lows higher highs 134 first target logged some there 135 calls went 150 percent and my final target was 137 and I kept saying that we should see your 137 target you see this pullback that's fine this pullback right here it held that 512 EMA cloud and then we met our 137 target 135 calls went to 45 40% this was a big move for Google it usually doesn't happen um, you know uh, and then yeah I just have one four size left we'll see what happens tomorrow there is still a breakout on daily chart um, that might come through if it keeps holding but uh, but yes Google was perfect 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 high confidence setup today and another huge win along with SMCI so let's look at next play Amazon so important thing to in these things is today guys we were staying with where the volume was right we were not trading which I will talk about Apple in a bit which was weak we were not longing Apple because our system did not say us tell us to long Apple we were just long these levels so let's look at Amazon what was Amazon doing what were my pre-market levels on Amazon so you as you see the pre-market level on Amazon was 151 and I also mentioned that 150 psych breakout on Amazon today so so it was 115 psych breakout on Amazon 
and that's why I said on the voice that we can long both with Google. So I said in first six minutes, both good scalps into 10 a.m. Amazon is a 150 psychological breakout mentioned in the pre-market notes. Then it's all about letting it work, taking your targets, you know. Um, my target was 154. Of course, we take our first profits at 10 a.m. And you see the uh, Ripster EMA clouds never gave up. 512 EMA clouds never gave up. That's fine. What is my rule? What do I tell? That's when something gets extended from EMA, it always pulls back. So that was a normal extension because it, it got too, too much extended from the EMAs. You look how much extension it got from 12 EMAs and then it came back. And you see how this is riding close to the EMAs. So that trend is healthy, that's fine. But whenever something gets too much extended, you get the pullback and you see how it held 512 and then finally pushed higher, right? So another example with Google, with Amazon, with Google. So these two plays alone with SMCI, you are done for a week. So guys, and look at this daily chart, right? If I look at your daily chart, uh, what my daily chart tells me is that there was uh, there was this uh, you know range breakout right here in this region so you can see that so there was a range breakout here and it was a nice nice breakout and then you don't need that you know there's a 150 psychological level breakout and you know it's a big level and that's how we got it all right guys, let's go to the next one so next one we're going to talk about is guys apple so Apple, again, let's go back to my levels, right? So the levels I share every day. So if you see my support was 195.5. What happens? 195.50 breaks. Even before 195.50 breaks, you see the rejection from the EMA cloud. The system says it's heavy. When you see such a candle means it's so heavy. So that's why when I saw that candle, I, I said it's heavy. And of course, I, I gave... It's a, it's a short setup. That's what I said on voice. And that's what I write down in the pre-market notes. Then it breaks a pivot. And of course, it had some bearish news. So that gives its added advantage or conviction to short it. So you see, you know, decent fade. I mean, it then it after 10 a.m. If it doesn't make lows, that means, you have, you know, it will bounce. But look, the previous support, new resistance. Previous support, new resistance, fade back. You hold your short until this 512 EMA curls and uh, you know so that's but we did not long you know we, we you know we could have longed at this curl i'm sure somebody has long this is the system tells us and actually we actually it was in my alert uh, let's see yeah you see here 195 apple crossing reclaiming 512 once that price alert came in look at the reversal right so you could have long the risks low of the candles so you see how we are short and then we get long the time to get long and look at my you know, in community, I have these APIs, this automation setup, which tell you when to long, when to short. You know, it gives you good idea. So, you know, the system, nothing magic. It's repeatable, repeatable system I teach every day. So let's look at Snap now. Okay, so Snap always does this. So that's why I was a little wary of Snap because, you know, I, I have seen Snap doing this, what it did today. So I was bullish to neutral versus 1710. The breakout was 1750. And then, you know, and my stops were 1720 or 1730. So I gave, this was the stop, final stop I gave. It pulled back, it pulled back. If you see um, at 934, it pulled back. If I go to the two minute candles, you can see it pulled back right here. And that was a pullback ad. You pull ad here, you have what? You just have like 15 cent worth of stop. And then it pushed to 1790. You made 60 cents, right? You made like risking one, you made uh, three reward. And of course, the options on the small accounts move decent. My target was 18, but uh, that's fine. We did not meet target short of 10 minutes. But when this break the 512, that's when time to get out, you know. Oh, no, right here. It's the wrong one. Right here. When it breaks 1712, that's time to get out. And, uh, you know, you should have shorted here for the gap fill, you know, but we were doing so good. Um, we didn't didn't really need to and as I said make the stops break even at 10 a.m. I already gave this warnings and you see this wicks at 10 a.m. So we pull back there So, you know if you if you risk let's say if you risk hundred dollars and then you probably made uh, four or five hundred dollars in this morning setup So next one guys we are gonna look at is Adobe. So let's see Adobe so Adobe, my price alerts were already set for the reversal even before the, some bullish news today. 
so at the open you know it was a day three watch bullish versus the clouds i was long at open uh, but when it broke this area i stopped out right because i was you know it was you know because i had a long little higher so it was a little bigger loss uh, for me so it rejected this rejection although I, you know i was in a money but my i had a small size i did not add into the position and um, then it stopped out stopped me out but that is fine then it came back over back over the ema clouds so you get back in you use the same as the stops and then it ran from 590 to all the way to 600 because what is it it's a gap setup look at the daily chart okay let me show you here so so this is a okay let's go here okay let me show you so it's a gap gap setup right here it's going into the gap let me turn on the EMA off the EMA cloud so if I turn them off you can clearly see it's a gap trade it's going into the gap so anytime it retests this 593 it has to hold this level so that it confirms our gap trade also a swing idea so I'm going to update tomorrow in the swing tracker um, but anyhow you see that you know when it's 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 not working that's fine get out um, anyways you know the bigger risk it, it basically what it did was it filled this gap it filled this gap and then almost filled the gap and then reverse so as soon as it moved bullish I said it's bullish your risk is 589 never broke the risk I gave 600 calls were coming on the flow since I said that it moved 10 points so you see that we, we lost a little three four points but then we made 10 points so that's how you make a loser into the winner i always update whenever i see something price alerts and so that's how we were able to change a loser into the winner on a dog so next one is let's look at uh, nvidia <clears throat> frankly i was not really trading nvidia because i was doing really good on google and amazon um, but i did notice that nvidia break became stronger later in the day it, it broke out of this yesterday highs if you go and see my levels if you go see my levels you will see that um, my level on the video was 494 and when it you know 494 when it broke out it just pushed it held 512 EMA clouds there was a bearish candle which made me avoid this one but later in the day I noticed the strength at 1030 when the 500 call flow was coming in so really really when i traded was when i talked about the flag if i show you so i talked about the nvidia flag so you see nice flag right here and that's why even the community everybody was talking about it that we are going to push we are going to push and then um, the flag breakout and then the 500 psychological breakout trade that's when i traded this long i even tweeted about it got a decent decent four points on this trade and then i stopped out when it broke this uh, level now it's still on the watch for tomorrow if it reclaims 500 but it was a decent midday flag scalp for me so tesla guys today is a great example where you do not get biased when system says get out you get out right so you see the Tesla was weak in the morning, but then it started to turn bullish. And that's why I said you can long Tesla right in the first five minutes, you can risk 935. So if you see when I said that you can long Tesla at, uh, and then, you know, your risk was uh, like $2 and then it went on to give you almost, almost, almost uh, $3 or 3 and $4 depending on your entry and the target was 260 that's why you lock half if you see i said good to lock on the way to the target you know moving towards 260 target weekly breakout this weekly failed breakout on tesla is um, you know if you see here so this uh, let's see it was a weekly breakout i mean it's still it's still breaking out of the weekly so i would like to see 250 hold but this week this candle so far is not encouraging but coming back to the intraday trade so I, as you see i said uh, i closed last piece when 512 broke and then i closed this you know then this this breaks i was out then i was waiting for 255 bounce but that never came then it was bearish all day you see 512 breakdown then it, it it could not even reclaim the uh you know it could not even reclaim the the 3450 
so it was bearish so sadly had to lock you know i did not short i could have shorted it but when market is strong i try to avoid the shorts because market is strong so yeah so very very weird action there um, never and uh, never usually see this kind of um, the candle if tomorrow it goes under 250 then it can fade fade a little bit more so we'll see how it goes all right guys so costco costco was my day to set up so in my community who know my teachings even if those who have been watching my videos sincerely sincerely they should know this setup right costco was a day to set up what's the day to set up earnings play on the second day or yesterday highs it's a long you know or a pullback hold it's a long so you know i can show you who are like people are there you know the thousand of people in community but i i like when people are executing on their own that makes me proud you know that people are following my education <clears throat> so if i just want to show you uh, one trader who was uh, executing it himself by the way we were 80 percent green in the community today so that was a poll that we did 80 percent green only five percent red so that's that's very encouraging and mind you we are not an alert service so i love that So many trader was green this was ganesh ji he was um, he was green on costco you can see here trading himself i want to find a, another trader who uh, who was trading himself and just on the teachings that i teach again and again and again you know so something to learn from there you see the costco day two setup right here you see it helped him play costco day one day two with confidence and conviction very thankful the teachings so this this is what it's all about guys so Costco went on from since I've been guiding Costco, it went on from um, uh, you know from 664 all the way to 681. So great, great bullish setup all day. There was no reason to cut 512 EMA clouds held all day. Your initial risk is here. Then you add into your position. You can trail your risk on the 12, 13 EMAs on 10 minute and just trade it all day. Now it's turned bearish. We'll see what it does tomorrow. So let's look at a firm. Okay, so a firm is a great example of changing your bias. So my pre-market planning was a bearish, right? If it moves over 420, then no short. I clearly said if it moves over 40 to 20, then there is no short. And also watch the 41 level. And you see the first candle itself pushed over. Pushed over. And then the second candle pushed over. And I said it's no short. We can watch now we watch 41 for long scalps. And when I said that, when I said that, you know, it was the price was at 40, over 40 to 50 right here. And when, since I said that, the firm went over to 40 for 52 dollars since I said it's a no short, right? I personally did not trade it, but that's my guidance, that's my teaching. And um, you see, it's not, it's not a rocket science. It's bullish. System says it's bullish. It's bullish. You find your risk level. It fills the gap and it goes much way over the gap. You know, so that's how that's 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 if you stay bearish, somebody stayed bearish, and no one in my community or no one who knows my teachings on uh, on Twitter does that, then you stay bullish all the time, and you you know you you save money, even if you short it. Let's say you shorted it, then you get long. You stops here, right here under the clouds, and you make more money than you lost on the short. So MU Micron was same thing. I had a bullish bias, but when it broke under that level, first five minutes, I said no long there. It was a void. There was no setup. There was no setup. News was bullish, but the reaction was bearish. No volume, no setup. Void it. As in five first five minutes, I told my community no long there. You know, you could have shorted it as well, but there was not enough volume. If I saw the short, I would have said short, but I didn't see any value or risk reward there to do anything. So let's look at Roku was on watch as you know, there was a lot of these players on our watch list, which, which didn't, didn't really provide any setup to us. So Roku was, uh, so what happened was so Roku turned bullish over the clouds and then, then it pulled back, then it pulled back and then failed again. Right. So here as well, it will happen sometimes like we see AFRM, it turned bullish and it held, but Roku turned bullish and did not held. So that was like a loser idea because it didn't even fade, it didn't even long. So there was there was very hard unless you showed it here, which is not my setup. There was very hard to make money on Roku. 
so this was a losing idea today loser idea so yeah there's one more next one so there was this one that i was on my watch list but i did not touch really touch it you don't see my any commentary there um because um, you know i didn't have my price alerts and anything but you as you see my 10 am rule it started to curl at 10 am no lower lows no lower highs i would have actually gone b minus long because there was a it was a huge extension and higher lows higher lows higher lows and um, i would have long some and traded this into 30 for 50 that's fine we don't have to trade anything um because there was not enough pre market volume uh, but good to recap um, this setup as well. So guys, that's all for today. Um, you know, we had a good crazy day. If you want to trade with us, join the community. Please uh, join. We are running holiday promos. Do not come for alerts. Come from for a great educational community. We share a lot of education with us. And I'm doing webinars every week. Um, you can find the webinars, uh, see what webinars we have. And I'm going to do a bunch of webinars coming up. Next webinar might be the webinar how to grow the small account. I I'll let you know once that is ready. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much. See you in the morning. Ask me any questions. And don't forget my daily, daily giveaway, $100 giveaway. Ask me a good question and tell me what you learned. Bye-bye.